Everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this cut and I'll be using a maroon color yarn a 3.5 millimeter hook you also require your measuring tape and first thing measure the length which you want your skirt to be then after that measure your measure your hip size so what you are going to crochet first it's the length the, the length of the skirt so that will you are going to chain first then after that i'm going to show you what to do next so let's get started so first thing we are going to make a slip knot and this is how we make a slip knot then after that insert the hook on that big loop and tighten the loop then chain the length which you want your skirt to be so for mine i'm going to chain 85 stitches then plus one stitch so chain the length of your skirt so i'll meet you after chaining the length of your skirt to show you what to do next so after that chain one more stitch to make it an odd number then after that skip the first stitch and on the second stitch place a single crochet so this is how we make a single crochet inside the hook pull through the end then you should have two loops on on your hook then yarn over the two loops at the same time so you are going to repeat a row of single crochets so i also have a tutorial of that sweater that i'm wearing on the thumbnail the link is on my description box you can just click over there to watch the to watch a tutorial on how to make that sweater so repeat a row of single crochet then after that i'll be here to show you what to do next i've just completed a row of single crochet so what you are going to do next is a different pattern but i'm going to take you through on what to do so first thing chain one then turn your work around on this first stitch place a single crochet on the second stitch place a double crochet to make a double crochet you just yarn over then insert the hook on that stitch pull through the yarn we should have three loops on your hook yarn over the first two loops then yarn over the second two loops so that is how we achieve a double crochet so in that next stitch make a single crochet then in the next stitch place a double crochet so for this pattern we'll be alternating single crochets and double crochet and remember to start a new row you should start with a single crochet and to end a row you should add it with a double crochet so repeat this and i'll meet you on the last stitch of this row so i'm at the end of this second row so what i'm going to do is just place a double a double crochet on the last stitch then that after that you are going to chain one and turn your work around on the first stitch this is my first stitch it's where we're going to place a single crochet then on the second stitch it's where we're going to place a double crochet so in this second row we'll be placing a single crochet where we had placed a double crochet stitch then we'll be placing a double crochet on where we had made a single crochet stitch so repeat this until you until you achieve your hip size so what you are going to do you just after a couple of rows you'll be stretching up your you'll be stretching up your piece until it reaches your hip size even if it's at seven inch and if you stretch it up it's reaching your hip size that way you should stop so repeat this and i'll meet you after achieving your hip size to show you what to do next this is how the piece of this cut looks and you are going to take the measurement so, so my hip size is about 40 and this should dry at 20 inches because this should be half so i can take the measurement for this old piece but i'm going to take it while folded so it should be at 20 inches so let's 
take the measurement so ensure you stretch it you stretch it up to make sure that it's reaching your hip size so i'm going to stretch this up so <laughs> so i think i think this will fit me because it's stretching up to 20 inches so you as to you should stretch it up you are going to next step and the next step is joining the, the both sides of this cut so this is the whole piece of this cut but i'm going to fold it then after that i'm going to join the pieces using the single crochet but i'm going to show you how to do it so in this in this session i'll be showing you how to join the pieces so what you do you just chain one as usual then on the next stitch insert the hook pull through the yarn then you should have two loops on the hook then after that yarn over all the two loops at the same time then turn your work around and start joining the pieces so insert the hook on this stitch on the next stitch then again insert the hook on the other stitch then after that pull up a loop then yarn over all the two loops at the same time then insert again the hook pull through the yarn then yarn over the two loops at the same time so repeat this until you cover the whole piece and after that i'll be showing you what to do next another thing we'll be doing this on the back loops of the of these stitches so this is one side and this is the other side so what you do you just insert the hook on the back loop of the both of the both sides and after that make a single crochet so repeat this until you cover the whole piece and after that i'll be here to show you what to do next this is what i have after joining the ends of this cut you should have something like this then again i'm going to show you how to how to make the waistband and for the waist but you just be ribbing the upper part of this cut so what you first do is just make just place a round of single crochet on the upper part of the skirt and this is what you are going to do this will make it a bit smooth so that you can you can rip the upper part of the skirt easily so you just place single crochet in each and every stitch So just repeat this until you com until you complete this row and after that i'll be here to show you how to rip the upper part of the skirt so that it can give you the waist part of the skirt have just completed making a making a row of single crochet and you are going to join the round together so place so i'm going to place a single crochet on the last stitch then slip stitch onto the first stitch this is to join the rounds and after that you are going to chain 16 you are going to chain 16 stitches so chain 16 and i'll meet you after that to show you what to do next after chaining 16 stitches you just keep the first stitch that is next to the stitch that's holding the hook then make a single crochet on the rest of the stitches and i'll meet you on this on this part to show you how to join how to join these both pieces so to join this piece we just keep the first single crochet then slip stitch onto the next single crochet this is to end this row then then again slip stitch onto the next stitch to start a new row after that skip the both slip stitch that you have made and there are two slip stitch so skip them then place a single crochet on the last single crochet that you placed so that how we'll be joining the both pieces so repeat single crochets up to this point and after that i'll be showing you what to do next 
I've completed my first row of single crochet and remember that you are placing the single crochets on the back loops of the previous stitches. So what you are going to do here is skip the first stitch, then make a single crochet on the next stitch, then place a single crochet on the next stitch, then place single crochet on the on the all stitches and I'll meet you on this lower part to show you how to show you again how to join the pieces i've completed the second row of ribbing the waist the waist so what you are going is skip this first stitch over here then slip stitch onto the next two stitches so that is my first one and this is my second one then after that skip the both slip stitch that you have made then place a single crochet on the stitches that you placed the previous single crochets so repeat this until the whole waist is covered and after that i'll be showing you how my skirt looks so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also to like this video don't forget to comment for any question So for the rows of alternating single crochets on the lower part of the skirt, you will be making them around the skirt. Then after that, you make a row of single crochet and that is it for today. Hope you hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to like this video. I'll meet you on next week and on next week I'll be crocheting a dress and it will be a valentine dress. I'm sure you'll love it so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also you can comment for any question or for anything. So bye! Yo, yo, yo.